It is Super Reunion Friday. The stars of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Mary, Betty White, Valerie Harper, Cloris Leachman, and Georgia Engel, Amazing. all acting together again on the small screen and supporting their beloved friend, Valerie Harper. As you know, she battles cancer yet again. ABC's Katie Couric sat down with these legendary ladies on the set of Betty's show, Hot in Cleveland. They could turn the world on with their smiles. You've got spunk. Their apartment battles. This is my apartment. Their vibrating beds. <laughs> Long before Carrie and the gang, before Not HBO's girls, there were those <laughs> other girls. Mary, Rhoda, Phyllis, Sue Ann, and Georgette, the female leads of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Yesterday, the Fierce Five, played by actresses Mary Tyler Moore, Valerie Harper, Cloris Leachman, Betty White, and Georgia Engel, were together again to film an episode of Hot in Cleveland and to reminisce. <laughs> Can I just say truly, sincerely, I am so thrilled and honored to be with all of you ladies. When I saw Mary Richards driving that Mustang <laughs> to that TV station in Minneapolis, I thought, wow. I can have a career too. <laughs> and and uh, what is it like for you all working together after 40 years? It, yeah, it really is heaven. And none of us has changed <laughs> very much. No, yeah. No, really. Well, we've done the best we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, gravity has taken over a little bit. Is it, when you think back on the show uh, that really started all of this, why do you all think it resonated? so much. It so reflected life, Katie. It reflected women. And then, Mary, that ever-popular question, how come a girl like you has been married? Mm. How come you're still single? In the 70s, women, young women, were living differently. Out! Out! You know, I think one of the things, the writing was fantastic. But if you don't put on your hats, you can't have any dinner. But your, your characters were also just so... Oh. Fun and funny and interesting and imperfect. Tell me why you think people were so attractive, first of all, to Rhoda. Because they recognize themselves. Well, eat something. I can't. I gotta lose 10 pounds by 8.30. <laughs> A friend of mine once said, uh, Mary is who you wish you were. Oh. Rhoda is who you probably are. Uh. <laughs> and Phyllis is who you're afraid you'll become. <laughs> We try to be very truthful in our family. You're not her aunt. Oh. What about Sue Ann Nivens? Mm. What was it about her, oh, Betty? God. Well, she was the neighborhood nymphomania. <laughs> they don't make feet. men like this they anymore. They don't make dip like this anymore. <laughs> Georgia, what about Georgette? She was the, um, the slowest one of the group, but they had fun of me, uh, sometimes having the wisest thing come out of Georgette's mouth. Surprise! It's not a surprise party, George, yet she expected it. Oh, expected! You were kind of an That's idiot super... savant. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Weighing on the minds of these old friends, the recent disclosure that Valerie Harper has an inoperable brain tumor. We're progressing. I certainly see what's ahead, what could possibly be tomorrow. In fact, I'm hoping I get through Friday. <laughs> But no, I've no. got to tell you, my dear, uh, my money's on you. Her positiveness and her yeah. up, everything is on the upside. Yeah. And that's 90% so of it. Oh, where, did you, where did you find Valerie? You know, a lot of people, honestly, would get into bed and put the covers over their heads. Don't go to the funeral until the day of the funeral. Don't miss your life while you're feeling good and you can do things. You can Amen. have your times to cry. You can really, you know, be in grief or say, why me, and rage. Let it be there. Go through it and then move on from it. The lasting legacy of the ladies isn't lost on those who have followed in their footsteps, including the cast members of Hot in Cleveland. When I was young, I kept thinking, God, it would be so much fun to grow up and be in a show where you got to play with your girlfriends, mm -hmm. which is what they did. So it's <laughs> yeah. sort of like a dream come true. This may be the last time the five will be together, but the mood of the reunion wasn't sad. It was a celebration of old friends and a shared past that made TV history. As we sit around um, on the set, um, running lines, and it's just, you know, it makes me think, what a lucky woman you are. Oh. How fabulous 
to be working with the people who are your very good friends. But it, it's true, <laughs> no, it's that, true. that you become um, even more than family. You become, because it's something that you can't explain to anybody. It's mm -hmm. just there. And I look around at these girls and I just, Me too. my heart fills Mine up with too. so much oh, God. happiness. Look at you, sweetheart. Happiness and love and celebration and what life really is. You might just make it after all. An unforgettable reunion to be sure. So much love and laughter among these ladies. We'll have much more on Nightline and of course Monday on Katie. Now back to you in New York. Thank you Katie so much that for that. Great. We cannot wait. What do you say yeah. after seeing yeah. that? Uh, what do you say? The chemistry just, is Oh, the love, the love. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah, the group hug. I know. I love that. <laughs> that was a classic. It wouldn't have surprised me if it had ended that way again. You know? Yeah. It's, right. it's, yeah. You can, and, and they fall right back into it, yep. which is really the best. Imagine how we, we, you know, how we feel about them all being together, how they must have felt yeah. being all together yeah. like yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Episodes of Hot in Cleveland can be seen daily on TV Land and their hit sitcom returns for its summer season with a live episode in June. The Mary Tyler Moore Show reunion episode of Hot in Cleveland airs in September. Again, it's all on TV Land. Oh, yes. We'll be watching. Yeah, absolutely. That was really, really fun. Um,